Between 40 to 90% of people who wear contact lenses are guilty of unhealthy habits that could set them up for complications. And what's more, wearing those decorative non-prescription contacts could put your eye health at risk. We'll hear what the do's and don'ts of contact lens hygiene and safety are Dr. Samuel Pierce, president of the American Optometric Association and Dr. Jennifer Cope from the CDC. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. So, Dr. Pierce, starting with you, what are some of those health issues we're talking about that arise out of improper use of contact lenses? Well, anytime you acquire contact lenses without a prescription, including non-corrective decorative lenses, you put your eyes at risk. These are lenses that haven't been fitted to your eye by your eye doctor, and you run a risk of complications such as a, a, a scratch to the outer surface of the eye, a corneal abrasion, which could then result in a severe infection that could in turn result in a loss of vision. Very serious. In fact, anytime you wear contact lenses and experience redness, discomfort, blurred vision, you should immediately stop wearing the contacts, see your eye doctor to make sure that something serious isn't going on, and then you can be treated appropriately. Got it. So what steps do you recommend for proper eye care? The best thing you can do is always follow the advice of your eye doctor. Go see your eye doctor as recommended by the American Optometric Association at least once a year. That way you can be assured that your eyes are healthy enough to wear contact lenses. You can get a prescription that's accurate, uh, gives you the best vision, and, uh, and, uh, and you can wear on a healthy cornea and a healthy eye and have the best vision possible. Never hoard your lenses. Never avoid seeing the eye doctor as recommended. Always use appropriate multipurpose solution. In fact, for more information, you can visit aoa.org slash contacts dash lenses. Got it. And Dr. Cope, switching over to you, what has the CDC uh, actually found uh, in its research? Sure, so we, we recently published a report in which we described six cases of contact lens related eye infections among people who reported sleeping in their lenses uh, prior to developing the symptoms of the infection. Um, one of the cases we describe is in a 59 year old man who went on a hunting trip and slept in his lenses while he was on that trip and upon returning home he had developed an infection um, and in fact that infection was so serious that it uh, caused a perforation of his cornea that required uh, surgery, urgent surgery to repair it and, and save his eye. And fortunately, he, he did recover vision in that eye, but it, it did require some urgent treatment to do so. So one of the most common things that we do find people doing in their lenses is sleeping in them. And as we've shown in our report, um, there can be some serious un outcomes from that. Got it. So sleeping in them is definitely one of those mistakes to avoid. What else should they really uh, be careful with to make sure that they're using them properly? Yeah, some other things that you should avoid doing with your contact lenses is having them come into contact with water at all. Water and contact lenses don't mix. And so if you ever find yourself um, without your disinfecting solution and you're tempted to use water as a replacement, you should really avoid that because water does contain germs that could get on your lens and then on your eye and cause an infection. Um, one of the other common things people do is, is topping off the solution in the case. It's a tempting shortcut to take um, where you just put a little fresh solution in with the old solution. Um, but you really should be dumping out all that solution, um, letting the case dry during the day, and then refilling it with fresh solution uh, when you take your lenses out at night. Got it. So many people use contact lenses, so it's such a, an important reminder. Uh, you know, they may not think about these things every day. And so if they want more resources, if they want to learn more of these mistakes to avoid, where can they go get more information? Sure. So visit cdc.gov slash contact lenses for more information. Dr. Jennifer Cope from the CDC and Dr. Samuel Pierce, thank you both so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Stay where you are. We'll be right back.